Assembly Instruction BMW Engine N62 V8 Part 2 Mounting Cylinder Head Before installing the cylinder heads, you need to install the tube of cooling system, rail for the chain, the chains, and the main cover timing. Attention! Only a new tube of cooling system and its ceiling ring must be installed. Lubricate the ceiling ring and insert the tube into the cylinder block. Remove excess lubricate. Install the rail for the chains together with chains. Install the chain in the gear oil pump. The tightening torque is 20 Nm. Install the gaskets of the cover timing in the guide pins. Install the cover timing. Screw all the bolts. Evenly tighten the bolts. The tightening torque is 22 Nm. Attention! Test the bolts. Installation of cylinder heads. Install the washers on the new bolts. The surface of the cylinder head and cylinder block must be perfectly clean. Put the heat resistant sealant layer in the connection between the cylinder heads and the cover timing. Put the new cylinder head gasket in the guide pins. Carefully install the cylinder head on the guide pins of the cylinder block. Fit flush the bolts to bear against the cylinder head. Tighten up the bolts from the center in the following order. The tightening torque is 30 Nm. After that, tighten up 90 degrees two times. Installation the right cylinder head identically. Installation of the rear crankshaft oil seal. Attention! The surface of the oil seal is very soft and fragile, and it must not be subjected to deformation. Do not withdraw the saving sleeve. It is used for mounting and protects the edges of oil seal from distortion and damage. Oil the seating surface of the crankshaft. Implant the oil seal on the crankshaft and gently push on it. Evenly to tighten up the bolts M6 with the tightening torque, 15 Nm. Assembling the top and bottom trays. Lubricate and degrease the block connecting point surface with heat resistant sealant before installing the gasket of the top tray. Put the gasket and the top tray. Screw 20 of M8 and bolts and 10 of M6 bolts around the perimeter. Evenly to tighten up all the bolts. The tightening torque of the bolts, M8, 22 Nm, M6 bolts, 12 Nm. Lubricate the surface. Put the gasket and the bottom tray. Screw in 20 of M8 bolts around the perimeter. Evenly to tighten up all the bolts. The tightening torque, 22 Nm. Installation of the front crankshaft oil seal. Note, the oil seal must be stored only with a mounting sleeve. Separate the mounting sleeve from the oil seal. Lubricate the surface and put oil seal on the timing cover. Use special tool to press oil seal. If there is not it, in this case. Carefully and evenly to press in, rattling the oil seal with the hammer. Its edge of the it must be flush with the timing cover. Installation of the rear cooling cover. Clean the surface thoroughly. 
install the cover and screw the M6 bolts evenly to tighten the bolts. The final tightening torque is 12 Nm. Installation of the top cooling cover. The same procedure as with the rear cooling cover. Installation of the anti-vibration damper. Install the hub damper so that its marking coincides with the marking on the crankshaft. Install the special tool hub consisting of the lever 11, 9, 451 and the washer 11, 9, 452. Screw bolts without effort. The hub must have the free movement for tighten. Note, replace the central bolt with a new one. Lubricate the bolt a little and screw it. Tighten up the central bolt. The tightening torque is 100 Nm. Install the goniometer, 11, 3, 460 on the lever. The goniometer is magnetized. Install the end head, 27, tool 11, 9, 454, and fix the arrow on it, 11, 9, 453. Tighten up three times by corner 60 degrees. Insert the pin into the special hole in the damper on the hub. Install the disc and screw the M8 bolts. Lock the damper with tool 11 9 190. Evenly to tighten the bolts. The final tightening torque is 22 Nm. Installation of the timing. Thoroughly clean the holes in the cylinder head and install the hydraulic lifters. The used levers of pushers can be used again, but they must be installed to their former place. Levers pushers have categories from 1 to 4. When installing new levers, set the appropriate category. Install the levers pushers on the hydraulic lifters with the valves. Install the lower bearing part according to the designation on the housing. L. A cylinder head. 1-4 E. Intake. 1. First part of a bearing. R. A cylinder head. 5-8 E. Intake. 1. First part of a bearing. Clean the surface and install the block of intake camshaft left cylinder head, 1-4. Check that all the levers are placed. The camshaft ring must be closed and locks be up. Install the cover of the front bearing camshaft according to the marking on the housing. Screw in the M6 bolts by hand. Tighten the nuts in 2 to 3 repetitions from the middle to the edges. The final tightening torque is 10 HM. Install the block of the intake camshaft on the right cylinder head. 5-8 is identical, 1-4. Install the sensors of the eccentric shafts and screw the bolts M5. The tightening torque is 6 HM. Install the exhaust camshafts. Thoroughly flush all components of the exhaust camshaft. The camshaft on the left side cylinder head, 1-4, is designated corresponding to the number 14. The camshaft on the right side cylinder head, 1-4, to the number 58. 
lubricate and put the exhaust camshaft of the cylinder head 1-4 so that the cams of the second cylinder looked up. and the exhaust camshaft of the cylinder head 5-8 so that the cams of the sixth cylinder looked up. The rings must be latched and the locks must be up. Install the bearing covers according to labeling. On the side of the cylinders 1-4 from LA1 to LA5. On the side of the cylinders 5-8 from RA1 to RA5. Reads relative to the intake. Note, before screwing the nuts, install the clamps of oil lines on the bearings covers 3 and 5 on both the cylinder heads. Screw in the nuts M6 by hand. Evenly tighten the nuts bearings covers from RA2 to RA5, from inside to outside. The final tightening torque is 10 Nm. Install the new gaskets on the rails for chain. Install the rails for chain and tighten the bolts together with the oil line. Attention! The bolt M8 of the oil line is special and has the groove for oil. The tightening torque of the rails bolts is 12 Nm. Installation of the Vanos nodes and adjusting the timing. The hole for fixing in the position of the top dead center is located on the front of the timing body and damper. Turn the crankshaft in the direction of rotation and lock the damper with the retainer 11 9 190. The Vanos node intake is labeled EIN and IN. The Vanos node exhaust is marked with AUS and EX. The node exhaust of the cylinder 1-4 has a metal clip for the vacuum pump. The Vanos intake nodes are the identical. Pulling the chain, install all the nodes according to the marking. It is recommended to install new Vanos node bolts. Screw in the bolts until the touching and then unscrew half the turn. The camshafts are marked with tags. They must be top up. Set the template of the intake camshaft 119461 on the cylinder head 1-4 so that the surface of the template fits the cylinder head surface without gaps. Screw in the template 119463. Screw in the tool 119340 instead of the chain tensioner cylinder head 1-4 by hand until maximum abutment rail. Tighten the bolt M10. The tightening torque is 80 HM. Similarly, set the template of the exhaust camshaft 119462 and tighten the bolt to 80 HM. Screw in the hydraulic chain tensioner. The tightening torque is 65 HM. Screw in the bolt M8 of the chain guide. The tightening torque 12 HM. Repeat the same procedure with the left cylinder head 5-8. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise two times and to fix it again. Check the timing phases. Installation and adjusting the timing have been completed. Install the gaskets of the cover timing in the guide pins. Install the cover timing and evenly to tighten the bolts M6. Tightening torque 10 HM.
Installation of the valve cover. Lubricate the cover of the spark plug and install them into the cylinder head. Apply a thin layer of a heat resistant sealant on the junction surface of the cover timing and at the rear of the cylinder head in places of rounding. Put the valve covers with the gaskets of the surface of the cylinder head. Attention! Risk of damage the valve cover. The top nuts of the valve covers are longer than the bottom ones. Repeat 3-4 times. Tighten up the bolts in the cross cue from the center to the edges until the nuts rest against the cylinder head surface. Control test tighten is 10 HM. Similarly, install the second valve cover. Install the motor mounting loops. And so, dear friends, the instructions for the assembly BMW engine N62 have been completed. If this video has been useful or interesting for you, I ask you to give like. Who wants to stay with us? Subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to click the bell to receive the notifications of new videos. See you. Forever yours, Dr. Lover. Bye.